listen you have to purpose to be a rich person if you're gonna go down this road it doesn't just happen the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrut thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us well I'm going to help you break into another level of increase some of you have been floundering and you need to break into say break into another level of increase because where you are is not where you're supposed to end up we're going on we're moving up to another level of increase but you're going to have to hear and then do the word and it will enable you if you can hear it and then do it say if I can hear it and then do it I can go there wealth and riches shall be in my house Amen. in my household of faith this household of faith this household of faith that you're in wealth and riches shall be in this house mm -hmm. I'm calling for it and some of you will hear it and if you can hear it you can have it I'm calling for you to hear it that wealth and riches shall be in this house and that means you if you're willing this message is for you proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 says the blessing of the lord it makes something it makes rich so the blessing of the lord it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it who's he making rich the one he's blessing so knowing the Holy Ghost and walking with the Holy Ghost by saying words if you do that he's blessing you and he will make you rich if you get it straight if you get it right isn't this in your Bible the blessing of the Lord will make you rich he will make you rich he say he, he. the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost he the Holy Ghost is making you a rich person say he the Holy Ghost, he, the Holy Ghost is making me, making me a, rich a rich person you might not have been before but you're being made one is it a blessing to know the Holy Ghost is it a blessing to walk with him by saying words yes. yeah the blessing of the Lord makes you a rich person get that straight he'll make you think like a rich person he'll make you talk like a rich person say talk like a rich person, talk like a rich person. look like a rich person act like a rich person why why because he's making you a rich person Amen. you might not have acted that way before but you're beginning to act that way why because you know him and he's blessing you well if you think like a rich person and you act like a rich person and you talk like a rich person and you smell like a rich person say smell like a rich person, like a rich person. you will be led to give like a rich person Amen. I'm sorry you might have not wanted to hear that but you will give like a rich person you will be led to give and the measure of what you give will increase I'm talking Bible here okay we're gonna walk through this the measure say the measure the measure, the measure you give will increase my measure has increased to where I can give like a rich person where does that end well it ends when you give it all away 
no the measure will increase as you become richer knowing him are you here yes. is this good news or bad news <laughs> it's good news if you are a rich person say I'm a rich person, I'm a rich person. then you're going to be led to give and you will be led to give in increasing measures now I'm telling you the truth mm -hmm. whether you like it or not I'm not sitting here trying to get you to give me anything I'm telling you how it's gonna be say how it's gonna be, how it's gonna be. as you increase more and more your measure will increase more and more which means you will have more and more it's not bad news no. this is good news you should get excited about it so who gives thousand dollar seeds anyway poor people no. how many churches have you been in when you've seen the sad offering bucket people think they're hanging the moon when they put a twenty dollar bill in there mm -hmm. I'm not criticizing putting a twenty dollar bill in there if that's where you're at but we're, we're not staying there right. we're going more people should know that when you show up large bills are showing up mm -hmm. when people get a letter from me they know that it has a bigger offering than most other people Amen. why is that because I'm a rich person and I give according to the measure of me being a rich person and I reap according to that measure we'll get into that are you here yes. well I can't see myself ever giving a thousand dollars to a ministry you don't have to and I'm not I'm not requiring you to give me any money that's not what this message is about I'm showing you the way it is and I'm not asking you to give a thousand dollars that's not I'm just I use a thousand dollars because that's that is a place where most people have never been right. it makes them tilt mm -hmm. some people maybe will have given a hundred dollars say a hundred dollars that tilted a lot of people right there that's just beyond where they're thinking that yeah. you don't have to I'm not telling the, you that you have to this video isn't gonna shut off halfway through if you if you're not gonna give I'm not gonna go bankrupt ever Amen. but it's your choice say it's my choice, it's my choice but if you're going to go down this road you might want to mute this now if you don't want to hear it but if you're gonna go down this road you will be led to give more and more in increasing measure until people's mouths drop on the floor that's how this works are you here yes these things work for everyone say everyone. everyone these things work for everyone who will work it is that good news yes. because then it's my choice if I choose to work this I can have the blessing that comes from it as long as I go down this road mm -hmm. and I'm you don't have to go down this road nobody's telling you you have to go down this road how many Christians do you know that are not down this road they wouldn't they, they don't even want to go down there mm -hmm. I feel sad for them because the blessing is on this side proverbs 10 22 we read that right are we still there mm -hmm. the blessing of the lord it makes rich he adds no sorrow with it deuteronomy 8 18 says it is god that gives me power to get wealth first yes. timothy 5 17 says living god gives me richly all things to enjoy god gives me power to get wealth the blessing of the lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it mm -hmm. are these scriptures okay yes. Third John 2 says beloved I pray above all things that thou mayest prosper that I may prosper that you may prosper this is God's will for you is to be a rich person and to prosper above all things that you may prosper this is God's will for you is to be a rich person and to prosper above all things Isaiah 48 17 says the Lord my God teaches me to profit 
and leads me in the way that I should go so if God's leading you and he's teaching you what you're doing right now if you can hear he's gonna teach you and lead you to have no more money and take away all your money no. is that what he's doing no he's showing you a way to have more he's teaching you to profit the blessing of the Lord makes me a rich person the blessing of the Lord makes me think rich thoughts speak rich words and sow rich seeds you will be led to give I'm telling you I'm telling you and you should rejoice when that leading comes to you because God is doing something in you on you and around you and in your finances they're gonna break open say break open, break open. Luke chapter 6 and verse 38 give and it shall be taken from you until thou art closed with rags and very religious and pious no. is that what it says no. who's saying this by the way give and it shall be given unto you who said this am I making it up no. am I telling you the good news yeah this is good news right yeah. it's in the Bible give and it shall be given unto you what you gave and no more no. and you should be happy about it <laughs> give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall man give into your bosom your bosom means your lap into into your control so if you give it will be given unto you more than what you gave good measure pressed down shaken together and running over running over means too much it says shall men give into your bosom that word I looked all these words up and the word men just means it doesn't mean an actual man is gonna do it just says it will be given but it will be given into your bosom into your situation say my situation. my situation you know I've confessed this for years but right in that same verse if we continue on it says for with the same measure that you meet it shall be measured unto you you know what a measuring device is either a ruler or we actually can measure out denominations and bills are you here yes. sometimes I swear people think I'm making this up I'm just reading it out of the if I give it will be given to me what I gave mm -hmm. good measure pressed down shaking together running over however you want to look at that it is a lot more than what you gave it shall be given into your bosom or into your lap literally what it means yeah. with the same measure you meet so if I give in tens what am I gonna reap I will reap in that measure so in order for us to go up in a measure if I want to go up from a 10 what do I go to go to a 20 you sound like you're trying to get get I'm not asking you to give me anything money just comes to me money comes to you yeah because I give and it's given unto me are you here I'm doing this I'm, I'm here to tell you that this works I've been doing it I can testify to it give and it'll be given unto you good measure pressed down shaking together running over will men give into your bosom with the same measure that you meet it'll be measured back to you we got to get over this we get to a certain place and I can't get there I gave for years and years and years at a lower amounts because that's all you know I was just trying to I wanted to give mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. but then you got to get beyond that and use your faith say use my faith, use my faith. and so a seed that you can reap in that amount are you here when listen when I reap in that amount 
say when I reap in that amount I'm richer than I was before yes. so if I'm sowing in hundreds say I'm sowing in hundreds and I'm reaping in hundreds if I'm reaping in hundreds I'm richer than I was when I was sowing in tens and twenties and then it gets easier let's read it again give and it shall be given unto you would it be selfish for me to believe this scripture that if I give it's going to be given to me no it's pleasing to God that you believe his scriptures yeah. right give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure you meet with all it shall be measured to you now we know here that there's power in every word of God to bring itself to pass in our life if we'll confess it this word of God is not without power what will this word of God do what it said yes. what did it done say it said that if I give it'll be given unto me mm -hmm. good measure press down shake it together running over would it be given into my bosom or into my lap mm -hmm. and in the measure that I gave what will this verse of scripture do well nothing if you just leave it on the desk and don't do anything about it you have to take this verse of scripture and believe it and then do it you apply it say apply it, apply it. and do it Amen. and it will bring itself to pass Amen. now I've seen both sides of this but most Christians are miserly and in want almost all the time they're tight they're in need beggarly especially when you get into you know the old-time Pentecostal circles or some of those other circles that don't believe in prosperity they think that somehow you know your holiness is wrapped up in poverty and then I've seen on the other side I guarantee you, you start to see on the other side I'm trying to help you get over to the other side that is much better people that are generous mm -hmm. say generous. generous willing to give Proverbs 11 25 says a generous soul will abound with blessings what's the blessing do the blessing of the Lord makes you rich so if you're generous you will be blessed and that blessing makes you rich I've seen both sides of this I've seen people withhold things not give give as little as possible and where do they end up they end up going down being more in need and I've seen the other side of this where people that learn to give say people that learn to give, that learn to give. become blessed and if they keep going wealthy why would that be because the scripture be give and it shall be give and it shall be give and it shall be say give and it shall be, and it shall be. what be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over so men give into your bosom with the same measure yes. say with the same measure start where you are but increase the measure are you can you see this are you mad at me yet I've learned this over the years when I'm miserly and I, I understand believe me I understand I know what it's like to be in a tight spot where you can't give but I've also been in that tight spot where I only had say a hundred dollars and you know that hundred dollars would not pay for all the stuff I had to pay for and I was inspired and moved upon by the Holy Ghost to sow it as a seed mm -hmm. how can you tell somebody that I'm telling you because I've been there and I've been there more than once mm -hmm. and I'm not there now what happened I kept giving I got out of it 
if i sow in hundreds i reap in multiplied hundreds now don't just go out and start casting money around willy-nilly we're gonna get into what why a lot of people may give and nothing happens it's because they didn't follow up on it they didn't use their words in the way they should have please listen please hear don't shut it off now I'm showing you and taking you to another level say he's taking me he's taking to me. another level where seeds listen where seeds you've sown before that did not seem to produce will begin to produce for you what will they produce Luke chapter 6 verse 38 but if I sow in hundreds I reap in multiplied hundreds say that if I sow, if I sow in, hundreds, in hundreds I reap, I reap in, multiplied in multiplied hundreds, hundreds take it up with Jesus if you got a problem with that take it up with him he's the one who said it I'm just required to preach from his Bible right yes. if I sow therefore with what measure I meet say I meet. I meet that means I am the one who decides what measure to sow in if I sow in thousands what am I going to reap? Thousands. I will reap in thousands. If I sow in ten thousands, what do I reap? Ten thousands. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Yes. Say, if I sow ten thousand, I, I reap tens of thousands. Are you here? Yes. Who sows in tens of thousands? Mm -hmm. Rich people now if we're going there and that's why i said if you're if you're going to go here and you're hearing some of you are hearing as you're, if you're willing to go here that's the measure that's a measure of whether i'm rich or not yet mm -hmm. is by what i can give and what i do give yeah. because that's how it's measured back to me that's how it's measured back to me it's what measure you meet I'm not telling you something I don't do okay I've increased the amount of my giving over time from $15 a month to various ministries people that I appreciate you know and there's nothing wrong with that are you here I'm not not I'm telling you about me so criticize me if you want I, I began because I wanted to be faithful in what I could give consistently Say consistently Consistent. because I'm sowing a seed and I want to reap a consistent harvest right I used to sow tens and fifteens and then I got up to where I'd sow a hundred dollars every month to a whole bunch of different ministries now say now a thousand dollars to various ministries mm -hmm. what's gonna happen Am I silly enough to think that this word is true that if with that measure why why would anyone do that because I've come up into being a rich person mm -hmm. and I know when they open up the letter they're like hey whoa, who, who wouldn't like to receive a thousand dollars right yes. I don't care how much money you've got mm -hmm. when a check comes in the mail for a thousand dollars you're like this is great mm -hmm. now I remember it was a while back so I wrote wrote my hundred dollar checks out to these various ministries and I'd had in the back of my head that I'd wanted to sow a thousand dollars I've done it several other times to several other ministries but I had this one minister in mind that I wanted to sow a thousand say so a thousand dollars stop giving me an attitude right we're sowing in order to not so it can be taken from us so it can be added to us mm -hmm. are you here yes. so I had all of my checks written out and I was thinking about sending a thousand dollars to this one minister and just in my inner man it was like no don't do that yet don't do that yet I'm like I mean don't do it yet so I put it off for a couple days mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I got up you know and I was walking the floor 
praying in tongues worshiping the holy ghost doing my confessions send it now so i went and i filled out that other final check and i went down to the post to the mailbox had all my things in order with the stamps on them and everything are you here yes I opened the mailbox you know how you do this have you done this before <laughs> And you put the little flag up on the side because you're gonna put as i'm ready to put the i open up the mailbox and pull out and someone had sent me the exact amount that i had just written out plus my expenses for the month Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. so that same exact day the same money came in and that's why i realized now why i was being led to not not do it yet wait for a day then when the time came to give it it was it was that much more yeah. of an impact on me Amen. so i've increased my measure over time mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. i'm all right with giving a hundred dollars people like a hundred how many people like a hundred dollars a hundred dollars is great who wouldn't like a hundred dollars mm -hmm. right but for me i'm giving a hundred dollars 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 say a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a hundred dollars right you're giving in hundreds what am i reaping hundreds. hundreds if i'm scriptural if i'm giving in thousands right what am i to reap in thousands now that does something to my head who gives thousand dollar checks rich people say rich people, rich people. give thousand dollar checks now don't sit there and say i'm trying to get you to give me money i'm not trying to get you to give me money i'm trying to show you what the scripture teaches that if you want to go up to the next level this is where you have to go so i've increased my measure over time is it, it is a joy to increase your measure yes and i have no intention of stopping in fact as soon as i cross that one barrier now i'm doing it regularly and what am i looking for i'm looking for the return on that so i can give more does the word work yes. the word works when you work it well I, 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 I didn't know it worked nobody ever told you the word works <laughs> are you just looking for some excuse to try to hold on to the little thing you have mm -hmm. kingdom works like a seed is this in your bible yes. is this good news yes. see you're smiling i'm happy about it this makes me happy yeah. oh because you have to give i don't have to get you don't have to give anything we get to yes. this is offering an, a, us an opportunity to have the faith is there faith in this word of god mm -hmm. yes. Yes. there's faith in it that if you'll get in agreement with it it'll carry you through second corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 but this i say he which sows sparingly miserly grudgingly well here comes the offering plate i better get out my crinkled dollar bill shall reap also sparingly the same measure right he that sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully is this in your bible yes every man say every man yes. who's that include yes. that includes you every man according as he purposes in his heart let him give listen you have to purpose to be a rich person if you're going to go down this road it doesn't just happen you have to purpose to be a rich person if you're going to go down this road it doesn't just happen does it just happen no. you're gonna to have to do what i'm talking about tonight increasing and believing mm -hmm. every man according as he purposes in his heart so let him give every man according as god moves upon him to let him give god has to move on him no you purpose say I purpose. I purpose you know I've done this for years too before I got up to giving a hundred dollars 
i worked my way up mm -hmm. i didn't want to go back i've been working my way up mm -hmm. just push a little bit farther are you here i'm not trying to get money out of you i'm trying to get faith into you every man according as he purposes okay just just forget about yourself then i'll preach to me as i purpose in my heart i'm gonna give what am i purposing in my heart i'm purposing to be a rich person that i have the ability to give more and if that's my purpose that's how i'm gonna give i'm gonna give according to the purpose that's in my heart mm -hmm. is this too difficult every man according as he purposes in his heart so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity for god loves me god loves a cheerful giver mm -hmm. why would you be a cheerful giver if you think the grudging or of necessity because i have to give i have to give no you don't it's according to what you purpose in your heart i just showed you that if i purpose in my heart to give in increasing measure it's going to come back to me in increasing measure and verse 8 god is able to make all grace abound toward you toward who toward the one that gives what measure is god able to make grace abound toward you in the measure that you gave how many of you would like to get to where you could give a hundred thousand dollars and it and it not shake you what kind of person will give a hundred thousand dollars and it not even make them blink what kind of person, rich person. a rich person are you here yes. am i wrong no. you have to purpose in your heart you're not going to get there without purposing so again luke 6 38 given it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shake it together running over shall men give into your bosom with the measure you meet it'll be measured to you with the measure i meet it will be measured to me are you mad at me yet no. you can do with it what you want to do it's up to you every man according as he purposes in his heart mm -hmm. so let him give in that measure i don't care you can be whatever measure you want to be i know where i'm going say i know where i'm going okay. you know and there's people that are hearing this that are getting it that are now able to go to where they want to go they always knew that there was a place of wealth for them but they didn't know how to get there and things are changing on the inside of them where they can see now into the next level where the measure is how many of you want to give ten thousand yeah. dollars i mean just regularly 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 mm -hmm. the person opens up there and see the check with your name on it they know yay we're saved yes. <laughs> are you here mm -hmm. who does that rich people is there a way to get there yes i'm showing you the way i'm showing you how to get and there's no end to it yeah. charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy would you enjoy that yes. then it's there it's waiting for you and if you're going to go down this road get used to it mm -hmm. give in tens and you will receive multiplied tens give in hundreds you receive multiplied hundreds mm -hmm. is there anything wrong with that no there's everything right with it give in thousands and you'll re, re you will reap and receive multiplied thousands can you see how you are changing mm -hmm. when that happens yes. now you may not be there yet but you can see the direction this is going mm -hmm. the richer the person 
the larger the measure and the more it's multiplied back mm -hmm. say the richer the person, the, richer the, person. The, larger the, measure, the larger the measure the more it's multiplied back, the more it's multiplied back. so are you going down this road you're the one who has to decide whether you're gonna do this or not I'm not saying you have to this isn't the requirement for you to die and go to heaven you just have to die but if you're going to go down this road you need to get this working there is a requirement of you to make it work number one is saying say saying. saying I don't know if I brought that three by five card yes I did three by five card what it says on it. it says I give and it shall be given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over so men give into my bosom with what measure I meet now knowing what you know if I walk around and say this what's gonna happen faith will come for this because my words are working on my seed mm -hmm. if I say give and it shall be given unto me given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over men given to your bosom give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men given your into my bosom what what is happening faith is coming are you getting this yeah. mm -hmm. faith to bring that word to pass then say then yeah. then when I give I'm giving in faith are you here and that enables me to give a larger measure mm -hmm. and then after I give what do I say I have given and it is given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men give into my bosom with the same measure so we have a pre-sowing and a post-sowing a lot of people will give into the offering their 10 or 20 dollars and then from that moment on what are they saying about it mm -hmm. either nothing or they're spewing acid of unbelief on it nothing never worked out for me i wish i never gave that 20 dollars in the offering you shouldn't have you should have kept it you need it confessing the word of God concerning sowing and reaping prepares the ground prepares your faith enables you to go farther right and then after you've sown the seed you need to water the seed with confession of the word take and confess Luke 638 over your seed I have given and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over men given to my bosom with the measure I meet it's measured unto me be methodical about it you also need to sow into good ground say sow into good ground, sow into good ground. how I could expect to reap financially <laughs> by sowing into a ministry that talks negatively or poverty mm -hmm. doesn't work that way if two agree on earth as touching something when you give into a ministry you're touching that ministry that ministry should be in agreement with you that your seed is going to increase and produce results yes. the seed is literally asking for a harvest well as a preacher I believe it's my responsibility to believe for the people that give into this ministry whatever measure it is I'm believing for that measure to come back to you multiply mm -hmm. I take it very seriously that measure multiplied back good measure pressed down shaken together running over with the measure you meet this is serious business mm -hmm. and I'm continually say continually. continually I'm continually calling for these things in your life wealth 
and riches shall be in your house mm -hmm. I run with rich people say that I run, I run. with rich people. rich people and I'm one of them if you're gonna go down this road this is how you do it but anyway let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard the word this evening and you've encouraged them to go on with you and it pleases you when they obey your word and walk in faith and great things are beginning to happen on the inside of you so don't ignore it and you will be blessed says the Spirit of the Lord we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen, amen. Holy Ghost we thank you that these people are giving right now and they're sowing into the spirit and they shall reap these things thank you Holy Ghost that the blessing is literally on them right now making them rich and adding no sorrow with it now what are we gonna say say I have given and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over men give into my bosom with the same measure that I met it's measured unto me Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 